All right, folks. Hey there, it's uh, AJ here, the uh, content coordinator for Scholarly Gamers. Um, right, let's begin first of all with what's going on with No Man's Sky. Um, okay, so you know, as I've said in the article, there's the game came out in 2016, and yes, it was controversial. At least the response to it was controversial because a lot of players out there thought that they weren't actually getting the product that had been advertised. Um, I'll let you make your own decisions as to whether you agree with that or not, but there's no denying some of the drama that has occurred today. Um, to put this in a perspective, whilst there was no actual hard release time, it was speculated uh, that the game would be released on, I think, most platforms around the same time, which for us over here in the UK, that was supposed to be at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I own the game on PC, um, so I was patiently waiting for it to update. It is currently half past 6, 6.36 in the evening, and the game has still not updated on PC. But it has now been updated on PS4 and, of course, is available on Xbox One. And thanks to a very kind contributor, um, I have been gifted No Man's Sky on the Xbox. Um, so rather than sit around waiting for the PC version to get updated, I want to dive straight into the Xbox One version. Uh, it's worth noting that I am on an Xbox One X, a uh, Scorpio edition, um, but I'm not playing in 4K. You know, I'm just playing in 1080, I'm capturing it in 1080. And so hopefully that also gives us some performance increase. Um, now, as far as when the game's actually going to update on PC, we have no idea. We're hopefully it's going to be fairly soon. But so why don't we take a quick first peek um, amongst ourselves here at the No Man's Sky on Xbox One. So let's just go ahead and now keep in mind I've just booted this up. I don't know what's happening here. Um, we'll do play game. Uh, we're just going to do normal. Remember, you can choose between survival, um, where you have limited resources, increased hazards, and more aggressive enemies. There's permadeath, where all progress is completely wiped. Or similar to games like Minecraft, there's creative mode, where you can just explore and create freely. Um, so we're just going to go with normal, which is supposed to be a nice, chill exploration experience. Now, much like the loading screen on PC, we are greeted with the universe, and you can kind of move around a little bit. I'm also curious to see how the game is going to perform, um, because, you know, depending on your hardware and PC, your results may vary. Um, I have quite a mid-range system, uh, a 4th Gen i7, uh, an NVIDIA GeForce 1060, which is fine for most games playing at 1080p um, but with No Man's Sky I've got to admit I have to play around with quite a bit of the settings to get a reasonable frame rate so let's see how the Xbox One X handles this game well I'll tell you what already I can see the textures are considerably uh, improved from the game on launch uh, the skybox uh, looks a little bit blurred, but improved. Lighting effects are also looking quite nice. Yeah, overall this is looking not bad. Not bad at all. Again, my experience here and these, uh, you know, this footage might not be representative of what it's going to be like on a base Xbox One. Um, but I have to say, at the moment, it's looking pretty darn good. And of course, see now, this is one of the big changes with the next update, is the ability to see your character. You can play in third person. Now you have the option to enable base sharing. Remember, this was introduced with one of the previous updates. This is not a, a new feature by any means, but we'll, we'll go ahead and enable that. Uh, frame rate seems decent. Scanner is critically damaged. 
Let's have a look at our menu here. Right, we've got all our milestones. Okay, this is all very, very similar to um, the way the old system was. I'm wondering how I... Uh, okay, there's our inventory. Our life support's done there. Our hazard protection. Right, we need to try to... Uh, get some yellow stuff. Ferrite dust, I don't believe is going to do the business. You know, this was one of the... Uh, the critiques of the game originally was that, you know, you're basically just, regardless of the environment, doing the same thing over and over. Going somewhere different. Ooh, avoiding fauna. Not very well, I may add. Um, you know, and just mining, gathering materials to try to build things. Oh, see, I'm going to die now because good old radiation damage. Remember, because the game is procedurally generated, you have no idea... Oh, advanced lasing. Uh, mining laser required. You have no idea what kind of environment you're going to begin your adventure on. It just so happens, due to the RNG nature of the uh, procedural generation, um, I've been slapped on somewhere nasty. Yeah, watch. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Definitely not a good start to this. Oh, and now we got we're pissing off the sentry. Uh oh, shield down, shield down. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. I'll tell you what. Already, I am seeing a huge difference visually between next this next update and the base game. Um, I'm also at the moment pleasantly surprised with the way it's looking on uh, on the Xbox. It's definitely looking pretty darn good. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, you know what? It's not a bad time to check out No Man's Sky if you did not check it out on launch if you have an xbox now obviously you know now you can it's the first time it is available for xbox uh but if you bought it on ps4 and pc um the update's live on ps4 now so you can go ahead and download that uh and jump right back in and likewise for you pc users out there look you're gonna have to wait a little while for steam to update um honestly i don't know what time that is going to be but hopefully fairly soon um but it might be worth, I, I, I would strongly urge you to take another look at this game. Now, from what I've read and heard, the um, the price of the game on Steam has been heavily discounted. And then in some stores like GameStop, I believe, they're also running a half price promotion. Um, I do know on the Xbox store, it didn't look like it was that discounted very heavily over here in the UK it was a uh, 39.99 um, so prices will vary depending on your region but I'll tell you what looking at the way the game looks uh, the lighting effects the textures you know even the shadows for a console release um, this is looking pretty darn good and I'll have to check it out later on PC and see how it goes, but yeah, the the changes are definitely um, noticeable, and um, I am gonna have to get stuck into this. And because, well, I've got it on Xbox now, I know just a couple of other scholarly gamers that I'll be able to uh, play co uh, cooperatively with. So that's gonna be awesome. 
right in the meantime folks take it easy um as always thanks for watching make sure to check out the rest of our great uh material that's at www.scholarlygamers.com and um yeah i'm gonna get to playing this take it easy